the latest news and reviews within the film, television, and gaming industries with your hosts, Matthew Lundy, Chris Duffy, and Joe Oviso. Well, the idea came from last year when I was here in 2017. Um, there was a student named, uh, student named Steve Pulaski. And uh, I remember walking into the meeting for radio and I heard that his show was a movie reviewing show. And I said to myself, you know, I've always wanted to do that. I've always wanted to be on some podcast format and try to review stuff. Um, and so I, I ended up asking if I could be a co-host on his show. And for the entire fall term, for 10 weeks, um, he kept bringing me back on to see how I would test the waters and everything. And eventually he just kept me on as like a full-time co-host. And I'm very grateful for it because it made me learn a lot more about film. It, me, it taught me how to talk about film with a group of people like the ones I'm sitting with now. And uh, eventually like he graduated and I still wanted to do this at the radio because it was my favorite thing to do every night was to get ready to talk about something, whether it be uh, a film we saw that was good or a film we saw that was bad. I, I just love talking about it. And so eventually I was just like, let me just start my own show. And... At first, I ran to a few bumps in the road, um, and like it started off as a podcast on YouTube, eventually becoming, finally, uh, a show that's live on WNC FM 89, and highlights are posted onto our YouTube channel on Variety B. So, uh, it's mainly because of him is what made me want to start the show, because of how much enjoyment I got from talking about this. I honestly prefer doing this than I do the normal DJ shifts. Simon Pegg's character is like, you know, Ethan, you know, there's people all around you, who's chasing you? And Ethan just goes, does it really matter at this point? <laughs> And it's just, it, it's so aware of what it is, and it, it's just so good, and the action is top notch. This was a blast to watch, and one of my favorite movies of the summer. I love the show because, for me, I, I feel like in recent years I've kind of grown as a critic, kind of watching older films, watching different types of films, kind of pushing, my, pushing myself out of my comfort zone in terms of what genres and mediums I'm willing to, uh, to try. And I think that I was lucky enough to find a group of people, and also for that group of people to find me, uh, who kind of share my love for narrative. I, I will tell you right now, if, if there was a top 20, which, I mean, I was just spouting out these movies in random order, Infinity War would probably be 12 or 11. Like, it, it's that close. It almost got in there, but then I saw more movies and whatnot. But Highly honorable mention. Highly honorable mention. Honestly, like... With yeah, you've seen way more than me. Yeah, true. I think the fun thing about this show is I like opinion. And movie is just one way to share opinion, talking about what you've seen on TV or what you've seen in the theaters. It also helps us keep up with modern times, and it's a very fun group of people. So I like the idea of sort of discussion. There are times where I'll come on and I don't really need to say anything for 10 or 15 minutes, and you just sort of want to absorb what other people are thinking. And none of us are professionals, but we all care about what we're saying. So it makes it that much more gripping that it's not somebody who's paid to do this, somebody who's done this for years and years of their life. These are just, hey, we saw a movie that came out this weekend, we want to discuss it. And we know there are people listening, too. So you do get some sort of expert opinion, but it's still fun because it's something I like to talk about with my friends. And this is a group of people that I've had less exposure to just meeting them all within the last few months that I don't know exactly what is going to be said every time. They don't know what I'm going to say. And now you're getting a whole new different world of opinions on sometimes more than just movies. I think every movie has a purpose, even the bad ones, you learn something from every, ah, from every movie.